I've been interested in space my whole life. I remember as an eight-year-old boy going to the Air and Space Museum in Washington, D.C. My mother bought me the copy of the Omni Space Almanac, and I devoured that book. I learned all about the Apollo missions, the space shuttle. I was in third grade in Orlando, Florida when the Challenger accident happened. I saw it happen in the sky. And I was in college when the Mars Pathfinder rover landed on Mars, and we were able to watch all that on TV. In 1998, the Mars Society was founded. I had just graduated college. I had just gotten a job at Microsoft. And I quickly joined the organization, and it's been a wild ride ever since. In 2018, I had an opportunity to go on a special tour of the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California, which is NASA's center for the Mars rovers. When I was at JPL, I got to watch what they're doing with virtual reality. I got to experience putting on a VR headset and seeing where the Curiosity rover was that day, walking around on Mars, and it was a surreal and amazing experience for me. When I took that headset off, I knew that I wanted to bring that experience to schools and museums around the world. And so I got back to Seattle. I talked to Dr. Robert Zubrin, who's our president at the Mars Society. And so we decided to start Mars VR. The goal initially is to create a virtual experience that showcases our Mars Desert Research Station in Utah, where we've had people learning to live and work on Mars for over 20 years. Our next goal with Mars VR is to create a one-of-a-kind modular experience that can be used in schools and museums and can educate the general public about space, science, virtual reality, and technology. Our long-term goal with Mars VR is something we call crowd exploring. It's the idea of an astronaut on Mars and the people back on Earth working together to explore the red planet. Imagine that the first humans have landed on Mars and they send out rovers and drones to explore their landing site. All the footage and data that they collect would be sent back to Earth and could be put into a virtual reality environment that the general public can use to also explore the landing site along with the astronauts. They could then find something interesting, vote on it, and that information would be sent back to the astronauts to go explore that site for real. We call that synergy of the astronauts on Mars and the general public using virtual reality back on Earth, crowd exploring. I'm really excited now that we've had a successful crowdfunding campaign. We can get Mars VR out to the general public. We can get it out to schools and museums, and we're gonna start development now. And later this summer, we'll have our first public release where everyone can experience walking on Mars.